Hello everyone, this is Christina with Silk Bath Luxuries. It's been a long time since I've been on here and made some soap. So I've been inspired by all of you out there that are constantly making and uploading videos. Um, I had more time lately so I've been watching a lot of videos. Um, not commenting as much, but I am watching and um, just want to say hello to everyone and I hope everyone had a wonderful Thanksgiving, a wonderful Christmas and I hope everyone has a wonderful, happy and healthy and wealthy New Year. So um, I was inspired, um, I guess your evil plan worked Holly because I just couldn't take it anymore, so I had to make some soap. So I did two loaves last night. Um, I did this one right here. And um, I put some candy sprinkles on top. And I left the soap um, uncolored, except for the middle part. I put a um, peach line through there. I'm not sure if I I try to like you know make a little swirl in there, but we'll see what happens once I cut it up. And this fragrance is very crazy to work with, and it just um, um, hardens up really quickly. And um, I've noticed that I do have like a crack down the middle. And I'm okay with that. And I think the reason that happened is because it just got, you know, hard so quickly. And then I was just um, smacking it against the counter. So it just probably cracked uh, while I was doing that since the soap mixture was already, you know, pretty hardened up. But it, it, it looks cute. The crack doesn't really bother me. Um, it's still pretty. It smells great. And I thought it would be a nice, fun soap to do. And then right over here I did this one. And this one I also kept pretty plain. Uh, just the original soap color and just uh, not really down the center, but towards the top. I just did a really pretty, try to do a line of a uh, lavender color and this is a wonderful fragrance um, like a spa blend type it smells very nice very uplifting and uh, it's just really beautiful I just uh, it smells really strong so I hope that it sticks you know after the six week cure period of time so I will cut these and I will show them to you cut up once again, it's good to be back. Hopefully I'll make more videos from now on. Um, it's been fun watching everyone. Holly, Karen, um, Kim from um, Alamo. <laughs> I think that's her YouTube name. She's been making soap every single day. And uh, I just really love watching her. She comes up with all kinds of creative and uh, fun ideas to decorate her soaps. And um, it, I don't know, I, I, I've been having a lot of fun just watching vid videos and, you know, I just had to um, get myself in gear and start. So thanks Holly for the motivation. Uh, you've been an inspiration. <laughs> So I will cut these and I will show them to you cut up. Okay. All right. Thank you for watching. Okay, everyone, so I'm back. 
I cut this uh, soap up. I'm so horrible at cutting. I really need to get a cutter ASAP because I'm so tired of my uneven bars. But for now, I'm okay with it. I mean, they're handmade and I have to think of it that way. So here are the bars. I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to call this, but um, it's pretty, it smells really good and it smells really strong. And I'm overall happy with how it turned out. So here's another bar. And I just left um, the soap uncolored except for a little peach in the center. And with the cute sugar sprinkles. All right, um, I will cut the other one and I will be right back. Uh, thank you for watching. Okay, so I'm back. I'm going to try to uh, cut this one. Probably just a couple bars and show you. Um, this is that wonderful spa fragrance blend that I mentioned earlier. Brief description underneath. So, um, okay, here we go. And this is the same recipe as the previous soap. This is a um, olive oil, cocoa butter, unrefined, also shea butter, with um, palm kernel, organic and also coconut and castor. I was going to order a cutter this past weekend and I didn't. So I soon will because I am so tired of my cutting. So here's this bar. It's just a simple bar with um, the natural soap color and a lilac lavender line through it. And this does smell very, very good. So even though um, 
sometimes a fragrance will smell absolutely great out of the bottle that doesn't guarantee that it's going to smell great and cold process soap and same thing as when um, for instance this wonderful fragrance I I just love it right now it smells awesome it's still not guaranteed that after a six week cure it's going to smell just as good some fragrances will actually smell better once the soap cures up and I've had a few fragrances that are just horrible after the soap cures some fragrances have totally disappeared some have lost some of their notes and became something totally different But anyhow, here's this. I am pretty happy with it. I'm not too, I mean, I, I love color, but I'm not too crazy about color all the time. So I have a few colorful soaps, like my Skittles or my um, watermelon sorbet cuties. Some I like to make colorful and fun, but some of them I just like to leave as natural and add as little color as possible. So I'm going to finish cutting this up, take a few pictures, and I will see you in a bit. Okay, so here they are, all cut up. My Silk Spa um, soap bar. So Thank you so much for watching. I thank everyone for their videos out there. They're fun and entertaining. Also tempting treats with her wonderful tart and candles. Um, just everyone I enjoy watching. Too many to mention. I am subscribed to quite a lot of, a lot, a lot of soap makers out there. And not only soap, just... Um, all kinds of things makeup and fun stuff and I also want to thank all my subscribers my new subscribers and my old subscribers uh, thank you so much for sticking with me I hope you all have a wonderful week and um, I will see you soon hopefully with some more soap bye bye